Hey everybody, this is TJR, and I have not had a haircut since lockdown. But that's going to be changing soon. Back in April of 1962, two months before he met the Beatles, George Martin helped create a bit of early electronic music under the moniker of Ray Cathode. Released as a single on Parlophone Records, it featured two tracks, Waltz in Orbit and Time Beat. Now, publicity photos of the time featured Martin with a robot that was credited as creating the music. But the music was actually created by George Martin and electronic musician Madalena Fagandani. Now, hopefully I've said that right, and if I haven't, I apologize. Now, Fagandani was a member of the BBC's Radio Phonic Workshop, a pioneering sound effects branch established to create music and audio for radio and television. Some of its best-known scores were for Doctor Who and Quartermass and the Pit. And these two tracks were the first commercially released recordings from the BBC Radiophonic Workshop. Now, these are two very rare recordings from George Martin's career. Time Beat got re-released in the 2001 box set produced by George Martin. And I did manage to find a 2013 remaster on Tidal, this is digital only as far as I can tell, from Trunk Records. But these two tracks are now receiving a 2020 remaster and re-release as a collectible vinyl EP to benefit internet radio station Dublap. Now I've listened to both of them and I'll say they're pretty fun and they definitely display George Martin's compositional abilities and the sound of British TV and movie soundtracks of the time. Time Beat was reportedly built on top of an electronically created rhythm by Fagandani and reflects a samba and Spanish music vibe. Waltz in Orbit, though, features a nod to Take 5 by Dave Brubeck, is a bit more mysterious sounding, and is, in my opinion, the real winner of the two tracks. This new vinyl release will also include remixes of both songs by Sparkle Division and Drum and Lace. This limited edition vinyl releases in May, and I did try to buy one, but it looks like they've already sold out. However, you can listen to these new remasters right now on YouTube, and I'll leave you some links. If you do give it a listen, come back here and let me know what you think. I'm really curious. As always, if you like what I'm doing here, be sure to click a like, click subscribe, and smash that bell notification icon so you can know when I release new videos. I want to thank my patron supporters who are helping me to make more videos. And the patron supporters have been helping me cook up some videos that are in the works right now that I think you're going to enjoy as well. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all stay safe and healthy.